Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to SimRail 2021. We're going to be taking a look at, uh, at the demo again today. It's the second and final episode of the demo. Uh, well, for now, uh, we may come back to this in a little bit. But uh, obviously the demo has two situations. You've got the tutorial uh, where we'll learn to control the 34WEEMU uh, and, uh, and that's what we did last time. Scenario duration 30 minutes. Uh, and then there's this other route here, which is uh, drive on the route uh, from uh, Zavkovis. Drive on the route from that place to, uh, to Bedzim once again uh, on a different time of day. It does not contain the tutorial. So uh, I thought we could do this today uh, and we'll see what we've learned in the last episode and uh, we'll see if we can translate it into this episode. Uh, will we be able to do it? I don't know. Uh, but we'll have a good go, and we'll see what happens. Uh, different time of day, it might be dark, we might get to see a bit of... Uh... Welcome oh to no, it's not. Demo. Okay. We are at Dombrowa Gorincha Zamkowice station. Today you will run passenger train 46... Okay, uh, am, I, am I playing the tutorial again, because he's talking to me again, isn't he? We will use the 34WE electric multiple unit to operate it. Yeah, still, still a couple of problems with the controls. Uh, you know, if you let go completely, it seems to want to run backwards. Don't know why it's doing that. Have you found that that's happened with you? Let me know in the comments either way. There we go. So we'll enable the battery and we'll close that. So basically it's exactly the same scenario. We'll jump on board. <coughs> it's exactly the same scenario. I mean, it's a different time of day. But I guess it's lunchtime now. It was about four o'clock before, wasn't it? Uh, so what we'll do is, uh, yeah, we'll get it set up. Pop the radio on. <coughs> now look at that. Uh, right, radio is on. Okie dokie, so we'll pop the, uh, we'll activate the cabin. Can we reset you? Yeah, we can. Uh, pop the pantograph up. Now that is, there we go, pantograph going up. Ah, oh, look at that, I'm, uh, I feel like I know what I'm doing. Uh, it's, it's good, it's good. Uh, right, okie dokie, and then we have to click that bright yellow button there, close the circuit breaker, and uh, there'll be a load of clunking about, uh, coming from back there. I quite like this. Um, I, I kind of wanted. Surely they must have a, uh, a blind to pull up and down. Elf. Hmm. Wonder what that means. Right. So compressor's working. Uh, well, it's on. You can hear it uh, whirring away in the background there. Uh, should put the reverser in. Do I have to wait until that's finished compressing? I don't know. Ah, sod it, let's just uh, wang the reverser in forward. I'm sure we can. Uh, pop a bit of lights. Uh, where are the lights? Lights are here. Okie dokie, so... Oh, hang on. Uh, there we go. Nope, back one. Normal drive. Oh, it's a little bit fiddly to get used to. There we go, normal drive. Dim the lights, because he gets upset if you don't dim the lights, doesn't he? I mean, look at those sun rays. They're absolutely gorgeous. Rays of light. Ah, and depending where you look. Oh, smashing. Smashing. Right, okay. Uh, so now we release the brake and we hold the uh, hold the unlock brake pipe. Oh, getting a bit excited about this, you know. It's uh, yeah, it's a little bit clunky, but to say it's a demo, there's a lot of improvements to be made. Right, let's give the dispatch a ring. Zomkovice, 4665, ready to approach the <coughs> Okie dokie. Is he gonna ring me back? There we go. Right, let's uh, let's get a bit of power in. Just a little bit, about twenty-five percent. We'll do what we did last time. Just uh, you know, we'll just cruise up to the platforms. I mean, what time are we on currently? Uh, is there a clock? Oh, we're on twelve oh three. Oh, we've got loads of time then. Smashing. Right, so there's a red signal at the end of the platform. We're going to try and stop fairly down this end, because again, like I said in the uh, in the last video, it kind of strikes me as this is the end of the platform where it's all happening. Go we'll pop about, uh, that'll do. Can we, uh, can we have a look outside? Oh, right, okay, so three will, uh, there we go, we'll, uh, so three allows you to actually move around. Oh. 
Lovely. Are we are we stopping? Okie dokie. Uh, so we'll get the doors open. Opening right doors. Outside. There we go. Lovely. There we uh, oh we're right the way down here. Let's let's get a nice shot. I uh, I love how the people actually get on the train. That's something we've not seen before. Oh, do they do they get on the train in Trains in World? Yeah, they actually do, don't they? Uh, in all fairness, to give it the due. I like how the doors shut on their own. Oh, opening the door again. And they seem to actually queue to get on, although she, yeah, they, they all pushed in front of that lass. Oh, every time I zoom in and out with the up and down key, uh, it's, uh, do we have W, S, and D? Yeah, we do. Because uh, the up and down key is, uh, is changing the reverser. Right, let's get a, uh, let's get a shot of that there. Beautiful, beautiful. It's a good looking train, isn't it? Is it? Eh, maybe it's not. Okay, maybe it's horrendously ugly. I don't know. I, I kind of... It has that look of a Siemens De Zero uh, European unit from the side. And then from the front it kind of has a look of the Alstom unit. It's... Uh, yeah, I believe it's... Is it Pisa? Pesa? Uh, a Polish manufacturer who, uh, who actually... I mean, look at that. The guy goes to the door presses the button, the door opens. Does he actually get on and sit down as well? Yes, he does. Right, okay. Brilliant. Oh, door's shut. Door's open. Can we open the door? No. Okay, so the up and down arrow does the, uh, the reverser. Is it not time to go yet? Uh, oh, right, hang on. Depart at 12 or 6. Righty out. Right, we'll, uh, we'll get the doors shut. Doors are closed. And uh, do we just go whenever? Yeah, okay. There we go. Right, we'll have a bit of 25% power. Just take it nice and steady out of the station, I guess. It's so a yellow signal, so uh, we're not going to rush. We'll just cancel that before it starts whirring at me. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe it's yellow because it's going up to 40 kilometers an hour, or maybe we will actually have some restrictive aspect signaling to drive to. Ah, right, so it's going to green in... Uh, oh, hang on. It's... Yeah, it's green, but then it flashed red, so I, I don't really know what's happening with that. There we go, we'll just, uh, just set a cheeky, cheeky 39. Little bit of power. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can get it up to 40 kilometers an hour. Pass what looks like a signal box on the right there. Oh, hang on. We're, we're inside the train. That's... Uh, ah, there we go. You are too far from your vehicle. I know. I want a... Uh, I want a screenshot. Why can't I... Why can't I whiz away? Stop. You are too far from your vehicle. I know. I want a... I want a screenshot and you're wrecking it. There we go. That's better. Right. Lovely. Don't get a screenshot. There we go. So next station is in 1.69 kilometres. Let's, uh, let's have a bit more power. We'll go up to 10%. There we go. Right, we'll go up to 100% now. May as well. Uh, speed limit's gone up to 120 kilometres an hour. Look at that. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how far away the route is. I mean, it says 30... 30 minutes roughly for the scenario, so we more or less drove the whole route in the last video, didn't we? Uh, right, okie dokie, there we go. We'll, uh, we'll have a bit of braking. The brakes aren't particularly effective on this thing. Uh, I don't know if perhaps they're just as useless in real life. Oh, level crossing. There we go. I don't know if it's... Uh, if it's the same ruling in Poland that you've got to uh, toot your horn as you go over a level crossing. Oh, 
hang on, let's get a bit more, uh, there we go, a bit more braking. I'd be lying if I said this wasn't an enjoyable game. I, I do enjoy this. The, the controls, like I say, are a little bit clunky to get used to. Particularly when you're used to train sim A and D and, you know, W for your reverser, S for your reverser. They are a little bit clunky uh, to get used to. Are we, uh... Oh. There we go. Are we... Oh, lovely. See, I think this looks like it should be more carriages than just two. Oh, compressors here. Oh, hang on. Nope. Don't open both sides. Yeah, that's uh, that's not what you want to be doing. Wing mirror's popped out. Let's uh, let's have a look. I mean, the the wing mirror is quite basic. Um, you know, there's no clouds. Is there any clouds in the sky? Yeah, there's clouds. There's no clouds. Uh, this is all stuff that can be improved upon, of course. <clears throat> I mean, what we've got to remember is not to be too critical because it is the demo. You know, I've seen a lot of people. Putting a lot of very, uh, you know, very critical comments. This is a free demo, people. You know, so it's not going to be perfect. Uh, but I think we need to give it its due. It's got a lot of promise. Are we are we ready for departure? Do you radio me? Yep, yes you do. Ready for departure. Doors are shut. Do we get some sort of interlock like? It would appear not. We just listen for the door shutting. Right, full power. <coughs> Excuse me. Still not shifted that cough, you know. Flipping heck. Right, off we go. Bit of, uh, oh, hang on. I mean, it's a good-looking unit, isn't it? Inside, the you know everything, everything looks very solid. I mean, I've never travelled on one of these units, but I mean, like everything looks, all the controls and everything, they look like a very solidly built unit. Uh, I don't know much about, I don't know much about Polish manufacturing uh, in terms of the trains, but everything looks of fairly decent build quality. I mean, it is a game, isn't it? It can make anything look like a good. Uh, oh, hang on, station. Ah, break. Oh no, we're going to miss, I, I think we've missed that one. Maybe we've not. Yeah, you've, you've entered the station at 75 miles an hour. Yeah, we're, we're having a bit of performance trouble there. Uh, yeah, do we have uh, do we have an emergency brake? Uh, emergency braking, we're, we're in it. We're in it. Uh, yeah, I think we've kind of missed that one now. Oh well. Uh, it, it was a good attempt. Oh, I was I was so caught up in the uh, in the unit, I completely forgot the station. I was looking at that speed limit for the next. Uh, oh yeah, you need to uh, you need to take it out of emergency, and then you can unlock the brake pipe. Right. Well, we're not stopping at that one then. Clearly, uh, hang on. Uh, how do you get it in power? Reset. Reset. Do we need to wait for the compressor to charge? Reset, go. Reset, go. Go, go, go. Oh, there we go. Right, we've got some... Uh, yeah, I don't really know what the process is. I guess you have to wait for the uh, for the compressor to actually get the brakes off. <coughs> yeah, sorry about that. Anybody that wanted that station. Uh, but you're going to have to go to the next station and come back. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's a thing that happens. Every now and then a driver misses a station. Happens in real life, you know, we're all human, we all forget. Right. Now, uh, I don't know what it is, but I'm getting a lot worse frame rates this time round. <coughs> well, uh, we'll just, we'll just take it nice and steady, because there's a yellow signal coming up. About 90, do you reckon? I reckon 90's fine. Uh, just ease off a little bit more. Yeah, the uh, the frame rates are a lot worse this time. In the tutorial, we seem to do quite well. I've not changed any of the settings at all. And uh, yeah, look at that stuttering all over the place. Right, so we've got the yellow signal. Do 
You're not telling me what the next signal is. Oh, there's a red coming up. Okay, we'll, we'll pop a bit more braking on. 25%, that'll do. Uh, this is really bad this time round in this scenario. It was fine before, wasn't it? I mean, if you've watched the other video, you'll have noticed we actually got really good frame rates. What if, what if I kind of look a bit more down here? There we go. Ooh, frame rates is better when you look at the desk. Right, let's uh, let's ring the old uh, let's ring the boss. Okay, can we not ring the boss until we've stopped? Okay, yeah, it appears I have to actually be closer to the signal to uh, to tell him I'm here. Yeah, I've, I've tried that. Oh, there we go, okay. Alright, cheers for that, love. Right, so we can go in. And uh, I believe from the tutorial, when you're at permissive, uh, you can only do 40 kilometers an hour at a maximum. So that's good, so we're not accidentally going to miss the... Uh, we're not accidentally going to miss the uh, the next station, are we? Or maybe we are, who knows? I'm looking forward to the high speed stuff. When there's a few more trains and a few more routes, um, I, I really am looking forward to the high speed stuff. Particularly as well the fact that this is meant to be multiplayer and you'll be able to play as, you know, online. Every multiplayer game is automatically amazing. It's, uh, that's no secret. Any game with multiplayer draws a much better, you know, draws a much bigger crowd to it. And this is why I think that, you know, with a couple of, couple of tweaks, a couple of improvements, Trends in World and Dovetail Games really do have something to be worried about here. Because if this expands across Europe, um, particularly with the multiplayer feature, Multiplayer was something that Dovetail, if I remember rightly, promised us a long time ago for Trends in World 2. And it's just never happened. Um, you know, so if these guys actually manage to get a good multiplayer up and running, I would be very worried at Dovetail, you know. I really would. They really need to pull the socks up. If uh, I mean, this might not take off. They might promise us multiplayer. It might not happen. You know, but there's always that to consider. But yeah, I, I would be very worried at Dovetail with these guys on the scene now. Hopefully it'll mean that Dovetail will actually do more, uh, you know, do more for the money. You do find at the moment, yeah, it's not a Dovetail bashing session, but it's what's going to happen. Uh, you do find that you spend a lot of money on Dovetail add-ons and the quality is noticeably getting worse, particularly for Trains in World 2. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, doors are open. Of course, we're a little bit early at this station because uh, Muggins here missed the last stop. Yep, feel a bit of a sausage, not gonna lie. Let's have a look. Can we. Uh... Ah, look at that. That's nice, isn't it? Yep, they're looking like, oh, train never normally arrives this early. Or maybe that's the woman uh, that was meant to get off at the next stop and they kind of stood here waiting for the next one back. I love that. I love how the doors just shut on their own. It's such a small thing. It's such a small thing. Does the reflection work? Oh, the reflection even works in the mirror while you're on the outside of the train. Look at that. I mean, we've got mirrors, uh, but we also, if you look, we have, uh, are they, they're cameras. They got cameras down the outside. Why have they got mirrors and cameras? I mean, are, are these meant to work here? Are we meant to? I guess if you've got, you know, maybe a curved platform and a lot more train, you know, if you've got a couple of units coupled together, then cameras would help, wouldn't they? Yeah, I'd like a little bit more going on in the mirrors, to be honest with you, but I do understand that reflections can be really, really difficult to uh, 
They can be really difficult to implement, can't they? I don't know, can they? Yeah, from, from what I've been told uh, from my OMSI experience, reflections can be really, really difficult and uh, they can have a real impact on frame rates as well. Ready for right, we are ready to go, so let's get those doors shut. Okay, I think they're shut already. So we'll uh, we'll wang it in about 25%. Because obviously the speed limit is still 40 kilometers an hour. Cancel that off. Oh, and it's gone up to 100%, so let's whack the throttles open. Lovely. Now, the next station's in two kilometres, so we're going to keep an eye on that. Because obviously we don't want any more mishaps. Come on. Oh, look at that. Full on. Full on. Full throttle. There we go, 100 kilometres. We're just plodding along there. I like how when you go around the corner as well, there's a slight little camber on the train. Very, very well done. There we go, so we'll, we'll pop a bit of braking. 30% seemed to be the magic number uh, in the last episode when you're about a mile away. Sorry, a kilometre. Because we work in kilometres on the continent, don't we? Yeah, a bit more, about 50%. Just take the throttle off a little bit. Or maybe put it a bit on. I didn't mean to take it off as much. There we go. I forget that sometimes when you when you go to take the throttle off, it'll just keep taking it off, even when you take your hand off the button. I've not quite sussed out these controls just yet. It's, uh, it's still a work in progress. There we go. Right. I love how the compressor randomly kicks in as well. You know, when you, when you use a lot of braking... There we go. So, trains at a stop. Doors are open. It's right at 22, so we're still running on time. That's good news. So power goes to zero, weirdly. Um, the brakes are not kept on. Power literally goes back to zero when you've stopped. Strange. I've not really sussed all this out yet. Uh, like I say, we're, we're kind of, kind of just winging it. But other than the slight, uh, slight oversight on my part earlier on in the video, oh, ready for departure. Yeah, lovely. There we go. Doors are shut. Power. Full power. I, mean, I do like to travel abroad in Europe, uh, you know, I like, oh hang on, I like going on European railways, German railways are a particular favourite of mine, and Swiss railways, Swiss railways are lovely, um, but I feel like I might need to schedule a trip to Poland at some point, you know, and, uh, and have a ride on these things. Right, 110 kilometres, let's, uh, let's get the taps opened. I believe we didn't get this far in the last video. Oh, we're a, we're a kilometer, hour, kilometer an hour over. I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah, we didn't get this far in the last video, because uh, this is all new track. Well, it's not new track, is it? It's, uh, it's just that I didn't realise you could carry on past the tutorial. There we go. Right, hang on. Uh, I've just realised the uh, the old distance counters counting down in the corner, and I wasn't aware of that. I'm too busy trying to get it back down to 110 kilometres an hour, and we don't want to miss any more stations. That would not be professional. It wouldn't. And professionalism is something we aim for on this channel at all times. 
quite quick. There we go, we'll take the brakes off a bit. Oh hang on, no, we want to stop down this end of the station again, don't we? There we go, we're more or less on full brake. They don't seem to stop particularly quick, I don't know if that's, uh, if that's a, a thing with the unit. There we go, we'll open the doors on the right. Yeah, I don't know if that's a thing with these units, that they're perhaps not very good at braking. Uh, or if it is just a case of the game needs a bit of improvement. There we go, well, uh, ooh, that's nice, isn't it? I can't help notice as well, there's, there's no AI traffic currently. Uh, I'm hoping that AI traffic will be something we see. Let's have a look what time are we due out. We're, we're due out at 25 past. I've got a red signal as well. Uh, where are you? You're uh, 300 metres away. So, uh, well, 338 metres away if you want to split airs. I mean, it promises like hundreds of kilometres of track, doesn't it, in the uh, on the actual steam store page? So uh, hopefully, there's going to be some really, really long routes on this. Right, let's uh, let's have a bit of bit of power, not too much, 50%. That'll do. Can we uh, can we ring the signaller now? No. Oh, hang on. Where's my where's my throttle gone? There we go. Put a bit more in. 25%. Yep, uh, call the traffic dispatcher. Engine 4665, requesting permission to enter the station. Come on, don't make me stop. Track two beds in station. Right, okie dokie. So we'll uh, we'll have a bit more power. So coming in on a yellow signal. So we'll uh, we'll be prepared to stop. Just coming at about thirty mile an hour. There we go. Forty five kilometers an hour. That'll do. Okay. So beds in station doesn't appear to be the grand station that I thought it would be. It looks like just a little island platform. Hmm. Okay. Well, I believe that this is the terminus. It's a shame that the um that the demo doesn't have a, you know, like a feature where you can run back the other way. Oh, hang on. Cancel that off. You know, that, that you don't have like one way this way and then one way the other way as well. So you can kind of shuttle up and down and get to know the route a little bit better. Uh, you know, it's a shame it doesn't have that, but never mind. I guess that that is one thing. Maybe they've deliberately not included it so that we're like, oh, come on, we really want this. And we'll all go out and buy the game. I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is, I mean, I said it in the last video, I'll say it again, this is something I am really excited about. We'll stop here next to these shelters. Looks about, uh, about the right place to stop. Or maybe we should stop where the platform's white, I don't know. There we go, get a bit of doors opened. Yeah, I'm, uh, oh, mirror's out. I'm really excited for this. Oh, hang on, we appear to have fallen into the train. Oh, what's happened? Oh no, we we there we go. That's better. Yeah, I'm really excited about this game. Uh, I think it has a lot of potential. I don't think it's perfect. I think there's a lot of things that Trends in World does better than this. Couldn't possibly name any of them, but uh, yeah, that no, no, I'm kidding. That you know, for for my criticisms of Trends in World, there are its good points. Uh, the fact that it's got English trains, for example, uh, is a major factor, which will keep me with Trends in World too. But, uh, but you know, this this is very promising. Very promising indeed. I thought that this is where we terminated. I'm kind of a little bit like, hmm, is it, is it going to... Is it going to spring a surprise on me? Because I, I thought it said you drove all the way to Bedsin. 
next stop beds in. That's, uh, oh, hang on, but that's not what it says. Oh, that says direction. Yeah, okay. Duh. And there we go, we are on beds in. I like the, uh, this is posters look. I don't know if they're bespoke for, uh, for the station. 2016. That's really good, though, that it actually tells you the direction. So if you go that way, you're going to Warsaw. If you're going that way, you're going to Katowice. Katowice. I'm sorry, my pronunciation will be appalling. Yeah, but that's just that's just what we're doing. Right. Are we uh, are we not going anywhere? I kind of feel like we're uh, yeah, kind of feel like we're we're not being told what to do. Have I opened the doors? Do you remember to do that? Yes, I did. I guess with them shutting on their own, you. Uh, kind of feel like they're not open, whereas in fact they are. Shall we, uh, God, can you imagine a world where people are actually trusted to cross the track on their own? Just, you know, not even barriers like in this country. You can just, oh, hello, there's, uh, there's quite a bit of, quite a bit of stuff over here. You are too far. See, like, it's like Trensome, I can't go any further than this, so why does it tell me that I'm too far? Nah, I don't like that. I want to be able to look around without being told what to do. Are we having a driver change over here? Where's the relief driver? Is this him? Hmm, possibly not. He's not wearing a uniform. Do they wear uniforms in Poland? I know they don't wear uniforms in uh, at some railways in Switzerland. No, oh, it's the same guy. Oh my lord, you long lost twins here! Whoa! Does it not tell me anything? Do do I? I'm waiting for something to happen. I don't think it's going to happen, is it? That's that's literally end of scenario, and it's just going to dump me here. Right? Okay. Fair dues. Um, yeah. Uh, I I think that that's it. End of the line, as it were. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, make sure you click that like button on the video. Uh, it helps, of course in uh, more ways you could possibly imagine and uh, if you're enjoying Simrail make sure you click that, uh, that subscribe button because when the, when the full version of the game comes out we'll be revisiting this, we'll be, uh, we'll be pottering about on some high speed stuff, maybe some freight um, and uh, if you've not already go and check out the free demo uh, you can basically do what I've just done uh, free of charge you can do that on the Steam store, there's a link in the description and uh, other than that, thanks so much for watching, and fingers crossed, I'll see you next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.